Hey, what's up guys? Neat J here. Welcome to my video. In the last video, I shared a tutorial about particles emitting from an image texture. And this video is the part two of it, turning the particles into this liquid form. Let's jump right into it. Here is the final scene of the last tutorial, the particles shading from the image texture. In the generators, create an XP open VDB mesher. Drag our particle emitter into the mesh area. Reduce the voxel size to make it more detailed. And reduce the point size. Check the simulation. To see the liquid collision clearly, I want to change the movement of the collider. Delete the align to spline tag of the sphere. And add a vibrate tag to it. Enable position and give it some values on the X and Z axis and one centimeter to the Y axis. In the XP drag object, change the density to seawater for a try. In the extended data of the emitter, in the fluid data, change the fluid type to liquid. Check the simulation. Maybe decrease the viscosity and increase the vorticity. Change the surface tension to 1. Okay, let's add an octane universal material to the liquid. Just load the image texture onto the albedo. Give some roughness in the material tag. Change the projection to flat. Right click on the material tag and click fit to object. It didn't work. Let's go to the top view. Right click and select fit to region. Left click and hold to draw a rectangle on the liquid shape. Go back to the perspective view. Yeah, it worked. Let's check the render viewer. We can see that the liquid is not so smooth. Add a volume builder to the VDB measure. Reduce the voxel size. Add a volume measure. In the volume builder, add a smooth layer and reduce the strength. Maybe add a dilate and erode layer below the smooth layer. Reduce the offset and strength. Just tweak these parameters to get better results. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If it helps, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.